fly at dawn to a big day, December 14th. For several months, the Air Force had been proud owner of the world's altitude record, set in May of 1958 by an F-104. It had quite a run for a modern record, but first the Russian T-431 and soon afterward a Navy F-4H sent it tumbling. The new Navy mark, 98,560 feet. The Air Force wanted to get it back, but odds were against it. No modern jet has ever been able to recapture its own record. While crew sets the bird up, the strategy board meets. Air Force and Lockheed experts. And the man who will carry the colors, Captain Joe Jordan. Out on the flight line, instrumentation in the nose of the F-104 is set up and checked out. Precise monitoring and measuring devices, which will tell a story of success or failure. Each phase of the operation goes forward under the watchful eyes of officials of the National Aeronautic Association. The conference is over. The 104 stands ready. No more tinkering, no more talking. Nothing left but to try it. The effort and skill of hundreds is now concentrated in one package, and one man carries the load. Captain Jordan is a good pick. Experimental test pilot with ARDC, he has been in the 104 test program since 1956. Captain Jordan wastes no time. On the way up, he hits Mach 2.36, 1,600 ground speed, and also sets a world time to climb record for 30,000 meters, 15 minutes, four and nine-tenths seconds. Three radars and six high-altitude theodolite cameras feed position information to the instrument room. Graphs record the 104's progress as it zooms over the top. The earthbound people keep watch. There he is, angling down after his swift high leap. He has been where no other man ever has. Yet from beginning to end, wheels off to touchdown, the entire journey took just 21 minutes. He's hacked it, beat the Russians by a mile and a half, and the Navy by almost a mile. The new record, 103,395 and a half feet. This year's edition of the Starfighter story repeats the theme of previous years. As performer, as hunter, as protector, as record maker. The F-104 still leads the pack. 